Hello and welcome back to Purist Gaming. Um, so today we're going to be playing Fishing North Atlantic. I have played this game quite a bit. So I kind of already know what to do, but we're just going to go through all the tutorial stuff. Stuff for now and uh, yeah. So we're going to start our new career. We are Bob Jackson, but we are going to change the name. We're going to go to... Uh, let's go to... Let's go to... Um, hmm. You know what? Actually, I like Bob. Let's go Bo Jackson. Bo Jack Sin. Let's go Bo Jack Sin. Awesome. So we have our character name. We're going to start with a tutorial. Um, fast travel, games helper. Yeah, we're going to do all that because we don't want to spend 90 years driving around everywhere. We're going to keep Port Patrol off, <clears throat> and we are going to begin the game right now. Alright, so we have, we are in, the game takes place in Nova Scotia. Um, I actually live in Canada, so I actually, one of the days, one of these days I would like to take a trip out to Nova Scotia just to see the fisheries and stuff like that. I think it'd be really cool. So, we are going to begin, blah, blah, blah. We have our decrease of throttle. WASD to move. And we'll decrease the throttle. And then we hit V to go first person. And then F to stand up. We have our WASD, we open the door, and then we climb the ladder, and then we can use the wheel right here. So we can use WASD, yes. Uh, we have our map interface, we're not going to bother. So there is some stuff up ahead. So we're actually, we're just going to fast travel there, kind of. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, so we have our fishing spot up ahead. We're gonna harpoon us some fish. There we go. I don't know why it wasn't. It's being a little stupid, so we're just gonna go down. We're gonna go back down to our main cap. Sit in our nice little seat. As to why it's not... When we're doing this, I don't know. That's weird, that's some kind of a game glitch here. I hope it doesn't do that all the time. Because I like driving in first person. Uh, see, it shuts off the boat when I do that. That's weird. Anyways. Point, point being. So we're going to pull up here. Got our nice little objective marker. And go downstairs, yeah. Go to the bow spit or the bow sprit. And now we have our harpoon line. Now we're going to look for them beautiful, beautiful swordfish. And there we are. We have it. Oh, we missed him. You bugger. Oh, here we go. We're going to lock on. And, oh, we missed him again. How did we miss him again? Oh, you bugger. There we go. So we're going to reel them in. We have our line here. And there we go. We're reeling them in. Reeling them in. Bring them on in. Bring them on in. Alrighty. And we caught them. Our first swordfish is in the boat. So we're just going to keep scanning. I do see the swordfish over there, but I don't know if I can make that. Let's see here. Try for it. 
And did we get it? Oh, we missed it. We just missed it. Right over him. Right over him. Oh my. Well, the swordfish is coming this way. Swordfish is coming this way. Big mistake, buddy. Big mistake. We're coming for you. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And we got a fish hit. So we're just gonna tap. If we tap it, it'll keep the fish kind of in our area without over strengthening the line and snapping it. That's exactly what we uh, what we don't want. So we wanna bring this little guy in with us. Look at that. So we're we're gonna try and fill up our uh, we're gonna try and fill up our, our boat. So we're gonna look at our storage, and we can still get, uh, I'm gonna just adjust the sound here for a second. Um, okay, uh, we're gonna drop this down. We'll go to 60, yes. All right, so now we're just gonna try and, uh, we're gonna bring in some swordfish. We're gonna max out, we're gonna max out our, uh, I think before we take our haul back in, we got our beautiful swordfish around, and then I think we're gonna buy ourselves a boat and we're gonna do some uh, long line fishing, which is uh, where you take a bunch of hooks. Makes a little less money, but it's a little more reliable than swordfish. Or well, oh, we missed him. That was my fault. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we missed him again. Oh, I got bad aim. <laughs> it's okay, we'll scan for more swordfish. There's gonna be more swordfish. So generally that's what the birds mean is there's fish around. So we're gonna try and wait for this guy to come back. And we're also gonna mark this area as a swordfish area. Just so we can always come back to this area and know that we're going to catch for now anyways until we start getting more money and stuff like that and then we'll start upgrading different boats and it should just be a fun time all right so we got our swordfish there actually we're just going to pull the boat back we're going to pull the boat back a little bit just to get within line of the swordfish here. And we'll just slowly come off the throttle. There we go. And we'll go back to our back to our swordfish our uh, our harpooning location. And we're just gonna get ready. So he's over there. Uh, I don't think I see any more around here. I think he's the only one. There he is. Well, he's coming this way, so we're just going to try and get him while he comes this way. I was hoping we could fill up the boat, but I don't know if this is going to be uh, going to be going to be our best option. Oh, actually we got a school swordfish coming in here. Coming in hot. Uh, and we missed him. I'm really bad with the harpoon, by the way. In case you guys didn't know. There we go. We got a fish hit. We're just gonna tap, tap, just keep tapping it. So he's kind of getting away, but he's not getting away at the same time. We just want to prevent him from getting too, too far away. So we don't have to reel for nine years. We're just gonna tap. And we'll bring him in again. Come on, you little bugger, let's go. Let's go. So we're bringing them in, hopefully. So I'm taking, there we go. <coughs> and we got that swordfish. There's another swordfish back there. One fish there, and we got one fish there. This guy's coming up underneath the boat, so I think we're gonna take him. Should be coming out right about here. Where are you, you little bugger? There he is. Oh no, oh we missed him. Just 
gonna try it again. I don't know why it didn't let me throw it. Sometimes it does that. So the swordfish there. And we got one over there. And we'll just see here. He looks like he's coming close. He looks like he's gonna circle around here in a minute. So we'll go for him. Oh, that was too, uh, should have, should have shot a little higher on that one. Can we get the long shot? Nope. We cannot. So he's coming back, so we'll try for him again. Alright, let's see here. This time we're gonna, we're gonna use the focus. We're gonna use the focus ability. And boom. Fish hit. And he's not fighting us anymore, and we'll be able to bring him in. We got ourselves a nice fish caught there, and we're gonna try for him. Didn't even, uh, didn't even tell me he was winding up that time. Okay. Well, let's try. No. It's one of those skills that I lost playing the game as I progressed, because I never really harpooned. I only harpooned off of the beginning. And then uh, just kind of didn't after that. So we're going to look up in the sky for the birds. There's lots of birds around. The birds are back there, so maybe we'll try. Try over there. So we're just going to wait for him. He'll come back around. Or actually, what we'll do is we'll pull the boat backwards again. We'll swordfish as long as we can. Or maybe we'll just go straight into long lining. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. That was close, though. That was close. He is pretty far out there, so trying to judge that distance is uh, not, not the best. Hopefully we can see some other schools of swordfish coming around. And he's coming in front. So we're just going to try right there, and we missed I noticed the game's not very, uh, not, oh, that was close. The, the harpooning seems to just kind of be all over the place. Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh, we're getting closer and closer. I'm not leaving until we get the swordfish. Oh, it's getting close. It is getting close. Let's try. No. Oh. oh, that was very close, that one. So he's within range here. How do we keep missing this guy? Like, this is the elusive swordfish of the season. Oh my gosh. Come on, you bugger. You know, let's just try throwing through the boat. Let's see. Go! Nah. It was not working out. What is this guy doing? Like. Ah, oh, come on, man. Let's go. Come back towards the boat. I'm bringing you in. I am bringing you in. You are mine. Come on, little sword. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Come here. Ah, oh, we missed him again. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna aim just a little higher this time. Let's just try that. And now we should overshot. Overshot, undershot. There's just no winning with the swordfish. There really is not. Alright, let's just. And we're. 
where is that swordfish? Okay, let's see if we can get him. Oh, we couldn't get him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. No. Probably would help if we'd stop the boat. Come on. Just have a nice light troll backwards. See, he's like he's taunting us. He's like, hey guys, I'm swimming around. I'm not gonna get picked up, you bastard. Don't think I don't see you over there. Oh, I see you. I see you, and I'm bringing you home. You know what? I'm gonna mark this as a swordfish location. So we'll just mark that as a swordfish. There we go. It's be good for us. Look at him. Look at him. Just taunting us, this guy. It's okay, though. It's gonna taste that much better when I bring you home. You... Oh, look! And there they come. There's more swordfish. Alright. So we're just gonna, gonna go wild. We're gonna go wild. We're gonna try and catch these guys. Got a fish hit. Get our swordfish in. We're gonna reel them in. Nice and good. Oh, we are going to fill up the boat today. Took a little bit of a chance there on that one. But uh, that, that's okay. Nope. A little too far away. Always gotta keep a watchful eye because sometimes swordfish will sneak up like right under the boat and we won't even notice it until it's too late. Oh, you bugger. Okay. We have a chance here. The waves. The waves messed us up on that one. Can we get anything? I don't know. I don't like the harpooning too much. I much prefer the other types of fishing. See, like, it's just... The harpooning is rough. Not a very good start. Not a very good start to a career. I can see how this is going to go already. Let's just try it. Oh, we missed them. They're just like taunting us. They're like just right around the boat. Like, just won't come close. Oh, how did we miss that? There, we got a fish hit there. He's gonna bring him in. He's gonna bring him in, reeling him in. There, he stopped fighting. And we'll bring him in more. There, we got that guy. What is our... Storage up. So we can, we can grab a few more. Grab a few more swordfish. Just not coming, not coming close. Let's just try it. All the way over there. All the way over there. Way over. Way over all the swordfish. Try again. And we missed them again. Oh, they're oh and they're coming close. They're coming close. So once we get in line. How? How? That wasn't even where I was close to where I was shooting. Oh, we caught, we got him there. It's going to be a nice long reel, but we'll get him. And he's calmed down a little bit, so we're going to try and pull him in. It's going to be a bit of a fight, but we'll get him. 
So I figure we'll probably do two boat trips of this. And then we'll uh, look at some new boats. It's going to take us a while to reel this guy in. He is so far out, I almost want to purposely snap on, but it's the first swordfish we've caught in a while, so we're going to bring him in. Come on. He is like so far out. Come on. Like, come on. Yeah, it'll be getting closer. I'm gonna push the line a little bit here. I still wanna lose this guy. But I think I might have to, I might just have to give up on him. Like, look at how far he is out, and he doesn't even seem like he's getting any closer. The never ending reel. It's gonna be like an hour long video of me just reeling this one swordfish in. Either my line will snap or I'll snap it purposely. Yeah, line tear, that was my fault. Oh, gosh. Alright, so I'm just gonna pull up the boat a bit. Well, that was unfortunate. See if we can get closer to some of the swordfish anyways. I'd like to at least bring one or two more in. I mean like looking at it, like there's a lot of there should have been more swordfish out here. We could just go back to the port for now. I think that's what we'll do. We'll just go back to port for now. And then we'll try the spot again. because you can see them actually there's two of them so I'll see if I can get closer let's see here can I pull them let's see oh I lost my breath Yeah, see, sword fishing is no joke, like, harpooning sucks. <laughs> harpooning sucks, it's a, it's a hard start. <laughs> we got this guy. This guy's coming home with us. Come on, you bugger. And we caught him. Nice. 
Nice. We got another swordfish coming our way. It's gonna be a nice easy grab, I think. Just gonna let him come, let him come. And we'll catch him about here. Cause then we can just boom, boom. And then just like that. Boom, fish caught. And I think that's all we're gonna get for, oh, wait, there's one more sortie over there. Try a couple throws at him. Oh, a little too high. A little too low. Throwing nine meters off of where I was throwing. That's always fun. Yeah, we're just going to go back to shore. But we've caught a fair amount. I mean, we've caught mm, 1,672.3 kilograms of swordfish. I mean, I'm not complaining. So we're just going to take this stuff back. So we're going to fast travel the shoot. Well, we're going to fast travel a little bit. We're going to go here, here, here. Oh, yeah, you're going to make me go all like that, eh? And the port. Yeah, there we go. And we have Yarmouth Port discovered. We're gonna go sell our catch. Then maybe we'll take another round at the swordfish. We're gonna dock here. Yeah. Sell fish aboard. Sell our catch, we got 53,000. We're gonna dismiss all these. And we're good. So we're gonna go to the town, we're just gonna dismiss all these little messages. All right. We're gonna go get a boat. We're gonna go unlock a nice little boat quick. And then we're just gonna go, we're gonna go long line fishing with this boat. It's a really cheap boat. Fills up fairly quick. If you've played Fishing Barrent, Barrett's Sea, Barrett's Sea, or Barrett's or Barrett's, Fishing Barrett's Sea, it's the first boat you get in that game. $8,000, it's this really cruddy looking boat. And I believe it's called the Borg. And we're just going to try and do that with this. Or we could run this boat deep line. But if we run the boat deep line, we got to pay for a crew. So that's one of the things we got to take into account, right? Because we're going to lose profits. Lose profits by having a crew. Because they got to take their cut, we're going to take our cut, and we're just going to be happy. So we're just going to try some long line spots after we get our boat. We'll get that all figured out. Uh, okay, we're just going to fast travel to where the boat is. And it should be around here. Yep, right there. Oh, something blocking away. Okay, well, we're just going to close this. Like that. Nice. And we have the Borg. There she is, the beautiful Borg. The boat of the century. I mean, look at the boat. So, we're just going to fast travel back to port now. We'll fast travel to Yarmouth or uh, whatever this place is called. Oop. And we're going to dock. We're going to go to the shipyard. Available. I mean, we could buy this boat to the Lenore. Like, it's not a bad, not a bad little boat. Later on. Uh, but we're... Oh, sorry, I was wrong. It was $10,000. 
This is the Borg. It's a 32-foot boat, four long lines, 500 hooks a long line. We are going to buy this baby. We do not need the tutorial. We're going to go to the dock. We're going to upgrade this bad boy. So we're going to buy a good storage. And we're just going to max out the engine. And we don't need fishing quotas. So we probably won't have that. We're going to get ourselves some good buoys though. And we're just going to buy this. So as you remember we made 50 something thousand. So we're just going to... We don't need the better searchlight. We do got our good buoys. Uh, we will buy a better sonar though. So we'll do that. And that's probably about good for now. We're going to maintenance our boat. Uh, okay, so it's good. We're going to change the name of our boat. We're going to change the name of our boat to... We're going to call it... The Cruddy. There we go. We're going to rename it. Awesome. So we have the Cruddy. We're going to buy some fishing gear now. Buy some long lines. We'll buy 500. Not enough money. Okay. Well. We're going to bait these long lines then. We're just going to bait them with whatever for now. Two four hundreds. Uh, the only thing is, uh, it's kind of hard for me to see my money because of the recording thing. So, it's unfortunate, but well, it is what it is. So, we're going to fire our boat up. Actually, we're going to dock at Yamath again quick. We're just going to go to the fish market. We're going to look at, we're going to go to the town. Go to go to the bar I think nope we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna try and find tips here uh, where's the tips again that bar oh yeah tips whoops so silver hake okay we're just gonna get all the freebies here and then we're just gonna go check There is a good tuna spot here, but we're not fishing for tuna. Tuna's deep land, <coughs> and so we have our nice little boat. We don't need any of these. We have our little engine. Let's try, it. and we'll get out of here. We're going to quickly check our map here, and we're going to see. We got Silver Hake from seven days ago, uh, and we have our swordfish here. We have a swordfish from seven days ago, and I think that was all that was free. So I didn't want to pay any more money for anything. So we're just going to go with the Silver Hake here seven days ago. We'll uh, travel out this way, and we'll see what we can ring up. We are aboard the cruddy. We gotta watch our fuel with this boat. Got a pretty small fuel tank. And we'll start well, fast travel. Now note that fast travel does burn more fuel. So just always be aware of that. And we're just gonna... And boom. Then we'll... Uh, We'll drive a little bit and we'll check our fish radar. So we did buy the advanced radar. Or the advanced fish sonar, sorry. Yeah, so now it's nighttime. We'll check our little fish sonar. So we're heading out. 
we'll set up our fishing gear. So we got our long line prepared. Just gonna go here. And we do have our, uh, we do see some on the radar. Just gonna keep driving though. We wanna wait till we see just a little bit more fish on our radar. And we're gonna hopefully pull some stuff out. So we do have a nice, uh, I think we have a skip time here on this boat. I can't remember if there was or wasn't on this one. There wasn't on the fishing barren sea. So we're getting close to where the silver, uh, the silver hake was a couple days ago. So, looks like it's the only fish on the radar, unfortunately. You know what, we're just gonna, we're gonna set it. We're gonna let it go. And we're gonna set another long line out here as well. So as you can see, we have our, our little fish spot out here. Hopefully we get a nice little catch. Hope, and anyways. I would say I would explore off camera for a bit, but uh, what would be the fun in that, right? So we're just going to get ready. And we're going to set our nice other long line here. There we go. And it's set. So unfortunately, we do not have the luxury of... Uh, we do not have the luxury of waiting for uh, for time to skip, so we're just gonna go check out another port. Oh wait, uh, we have anchor. Oh yeah, we do have the skip time. Nice. So long lines typically, I think, are about 15, 15 to twenty hours. I think, if I'm not mistaken. So maybe we will just wait. So we'll pull ourselves into a good position. The nice thing is, is if you go to the map and you look at your long lines, you can see that I set it 16 minutes ago, and this is the two that was set seven, uh, six minutes ago. So we're just going to pull around here. And we're going to get ourselves in the position to uh, start collecting this. We got the nice beautiful sky coming up. Everything's looking good. And we're just gonna check. It's gonna get ready here. I'm gonna get ready and we'll drop or we'll check our long lines. And hope that we got some nice fish on there. So we'll start turning around now. We'll explore 
a little bit after this, I think, or we'll see how much fish we bring in. Hopefully we bring in something. Hoping we might have to... Oh, there's more fish over here on our radar, which is nice. And later on in the game, we'll start to get into the really cool boats where we start having a crew do 90% of the work. And that'll be nice. So we'll start to slow our boat down a little bit. And here seems like a good spot to stop. And we'll anchor here for a bit. We'll anchor here for, let's do, let's do 18 hours. So we do have our long lines. Yep, they're in the green. We'll give them. We'll give them one more hour because when they're blue on the map, that's when they're the best. And there, they're both blue. All right, so we'll start bringing these bad boys in. Now we are gonna have to gut and clean these fish. That is the one drawback to long line fishing. <coughs> or net fishing. <coughs> Later on in our playthrough, we'll have uh, employees that do that for us. So hopefully, we get ourselves a nice, uh, a nice little amount here. We can actually turn off, turn off these lights. There we go. And we're just going to get ready to haul our long line in. We have a nice little mini game here. Nice. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for the perfect. More perfects. Nice. Bringing in that fish, baby. Bringing in that fish. Oh, that was an okay. And we got a good. So we brought in 263.9 kilos of fish there. Looking pretty good. Got a nice little storage. Unfortunately, uh, we do not have much fish in it. It's okay as we get more long ones. And we find more uh, better fishing spots, we'll find, we'll find more fish. Maybe we'll buy a fish tip, and then we'll uh, we'll go fishing at that spot. So we're pulling up and approaching our next. So we'll start to slow down. And remember with long line fishing or net fishing you gotta keep both the buoys on the on the right on the right side of the boat. Oh. Second buoy isn't on the starboard side of the boat. I don't know how that was, but So we'll start to slow down. And we'll pick up the long line. See what we catch. Oh, we got a nice little haul off this one. Perfects are what we want. Two perfects. Let's see if we can go for three. Three in a row. Let's go for three in a row. Three in a row. Three in a row. And we got three in a row. Let's see if we can go for four in a row. Let's hope. Let's hope. Let's hope. Oh, it was a good. Oh. Let's see if we can get that perfect. No, nope, another good. Let's go for that perfect, baby. Perfect. Nah, another good. Oh, another good. Let's see if... Can we make the last one a perfect? Can we? And let's see. And here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, and it's just another good. 
we did manage to pull in 783.8 kilograms of fish. Let's get ready to gut it. So we have our little gutting table here. All right, so we're gonna start. I'm gonna try and follow this line as best as possible. And we got a five star gut, nice. We gutted two kilograms of fish. We're gonna be gutting here all day. 172 kilograms, nice. Got a lot of fish there. Okay. We are just flying through this. Beauty. Got a nice little different fish here. And we got 21 more kilograms of fish to go. Three more kilograms. Oh, we got some redfish in here. And that's a beauty. Exit. Nice. Got a couple stacks of fish. Wonderful. Alright, let's take this boat on back. See what we can get for these fish. So we'll go back to Yamath. We're just gonna fast travel there. Yes. It's gonna fast travel. Alright. And we'll see what we can sell. Let's see what's our selling rate. We got seven thousand dollars for all that fish. <laughs> nice. Seven thousand four hundred eighteen. And we're just going to go to rigging. We're going to buy more long lines. Oops. We'll buy a couple more long lines. Okay, here we go. Ship, not shipyard. Fish market. Fishing gear. Let's buy some more long lines. There we go. We have the maximum amount of long lines. We're going to bait these long lines. Let's go. Let's get it. We're just gonna bait with crap for now. And we're going to, we're gonna buy a tip. Let's go buy a tip. Let's see, what do we got? Three days ago? Nice, let's take it. All right, so we have our tip here. Let's see, where'd we get it for? Where is this? So we have our hat at, or our silver hake. And we have some haddock from eight days ago. Where's our other tip here? Uh, we bought a tip for something. Was it really? Uh, was it really? Oh, yeah. We got Pollock from three days ago. Well, it's a little unfortunate. So we'll just go back to our Silver Hague spot around there and we'll just troll around and see what we can find. Or we can check around our swordfish spot as well. Yeah, let's stay close to port. Oop. So you can... I should... You can turn those on from there. Which is kind of nice. Now this game does work with controller too, but I actually prefer it on keyboard and mouse. So. We'll go, maybe we'll go back to that spot again. We'll try one more time with all four long lines. And we'll just see how they work. So these, these videos are probably going to be about an hour long because uh, my internet takes a long time to upload them. It will uh, it will be... I'm going to try and do for once a week, hopefully. We'll see how that works out. We'll just go here. Go there. Alright, so let's fast travel. Oh, we didn't check our boat's fuel. That's not good. Uh-oh. Oh, 
Oh, we still got three quarters of a tank. We're pretty good. So we do have our, uh, we do have some silver hay here. And it looks to be, I think there's some other fish there too. That would be the, uh, I want to say it's the mackerel. I want to say it's the mackerel emblem right there. But we're going to get ready. We're just going to, we're going to throw our lines out quick. We have four lines ready to go. And we're just gonna set our long line bait with crab. Quickly set these lines and we'll pick them up and then we'll take this back and then that'll probably be it for the video. Next time we'll be more into the game. We won't be uh won't be stuck. We won't be uh, doing crazy, crazy amounts. Or we won't be like going through the tutorial process or anything, so it'll be a little more little more fishing next game. Or next time. So we'll see. So we'll get our next long line set up. And we can already set the hook, which is nice. It's always nice when stuff works out like that. So as you can see, like we can see our buoys in the distance, which is really nice. I love when that works out like that. And we'll prep our next one. And our boat's just gonna keep going now. So we just gotta wait. Because fishing gear has to be 100 meters apart. Which is not bad. So we'll check. <coughs> when we get to our 100 meter mark, we're going to lay it out. So the Fishing North Atlantic videos, I will probably be putting out on Thursdays. And other than that, I'm probably going to stream a bit of games, but that'll be on my PS4. So. Yeah. That's about all that's going to go. So we're just waiting here still. We have all of our buoys in line there, which is kind of nice. The boat stayed fairly straight. Saves me a lot of messing around after. And we have one more long line to throw out, and then we're going to pass some time. Then we'll go pick up our hull, and hopefully we get a nice one. Hopefully we can uh, fill up, a, I would say, a fair amount of the boat. Be nice. So we are taking a chance that we didn't look at our fish sonar. But uh, we'll see what happens. We'll go, we'll check our fish sonar now. Yeah, there's a few. We're not going to get, like, crazy amounts. But we'll still catch something anyways. As long as we make over $100. That'll be our, uh, our target goal. So as you can see, though, when we go back, like, we are still seeing fish come up on the radar. So there is fish in the area. But we'll keep our eyes peeled. Maybe we'll find a few better spots. So we're just going to go back to the beginning of our line. And then we'll uh, skip some time and we'll collect our lines. We'll call it, uh, call it a day. The next time we will be, we'll continue long lining, which will go a lot faster next time. And then maybe we'll look at buying a new boat.
So here's our long line number one. So we'll get ready. We'll get into position for that, and then we'll uh, we'll skip some time here and collect all of our fish. pretty much in line with this so we'll shut her down we'll anchor for a bit we'll skip let's skip 15 hours 16 hours we'll see where that puts us they're all green so what do we got or yellow let's try skipping two more hours let's go with actually three more hours okay what do we got we got green, blue. Oh uh, yeah, that'll be all right, I think. So we'll just start to collect. We can turn all these lights off for now. So we are coming up. We're approaching our first, our first line. As you can see, actually, the fish population is starting to grow here. So. It's actually turned out to be a fairly okay spot. We'll slow her down. We'll get in the line. Hopefully we can grab this first shot. Let's see. Yes, we can. Let's see what kind of a haul we can cat out, catch off this. Out of 15, nice. Means we did catch some pretty good fish here. Oh, we got that perfect. Getting that perfect going. Another perfect. Let's go for another perfect. Oh, that was good. Bringing in them fish, baby. Another perfect. Another perfect. Frickin' right. We are just nailing the fish here. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that was an okay. Clicked a little too early on that one. Another perfect. And we got another perfect. Nice. If we keep nailing these perfects, we're gonna fill up a lot of the boat. So that's like the prime time is like 19 hours. Which is about the prime time for a lot of things. Let's see what we caught off that. Thousand. Nice. And we're going to go to our next and it's already blue for us. So we'll get ready. We'll grab the next one. Then we'll uh we'll see what happens here. <coughs> Bit of a side question for everybody who plays who has played Fishing North Atlantic. Which do you prefer for the user interface? Do you prefer Fishing North Atlantic or do you prefer fishing Barrett Sea or Barrett Sea or whatever it's called? I personally, like I play both games and I personally prefer fishing North Atlantic's interface. I just find that a lot more cleaner. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys figure. So we got another long line of... Ah, oh, I missed him. 
Got another long line of 15. 14, because I messed up. So hopefully we can make up by catching some good perfects in here. So we got one perfect here. Another perfect there. Let's go. Let's get it. Oh, we got a good there. That, uh, yeah. Bugger. Got another perfect here. And we got another perfect here. Yes, I think we are making up for that, uh, for that little miss foul at the beginning. We got us a good. All right. And we got another perfect there. All righty, all right. We are pulling them in, pulling them in, pulling them in. Another perfect there. They are coming in. They are coming in. Oh, we got a good there. Another perfect here. What's up? Another perfect there. Let's get it. Another perfect. And let's see what the end brings us, and we will find out right in a second. And it's another perfect. Ha ha ha. 1193 kilograms of fish. Let's go. So we have a lot of gutting to do. Got a lot of fish on board. Looks like the majority of it's going to be Silver Haig. Two more long lines left to pick up, and then we are gutting and selling. Pulling up to our next line here, line number three of four, and hopefully we can pull some pull some goods out of here. Uh, we're gonna start turning on our lights. This is what we need. Wind down the engines. This thing just sounds gnarly. This boat, I love it. Out of eleven. And the first one is a perfect. Oh, we got a good. As long as we don't get a miss this time. We got a good. This is almost an okay. Got another good. Pulling in a lot of silver hake here. A lot of silver hake. Got a perfect there. Another perfect here. And we are just reeling them in. Perfect. So we'll have to clean all these fish. So what we'll probably do is to get us a little closer. We'll just uh, drive what we're gutting. Perfect. Yes. One more line, 700 kilograms of fish. We are halfway full, almost 3,000 kilograms of fish on the boat. It's going to be nice. Get a nice little haul here. Nowhere near what we were doing by with swordfish, but I don't know. I kind of overshot swordfish my last playthrough. I just kind of want to do this one a little different. More for the fishing experience rather than the uh, money. So we're living the real, real fishing experience here. Maybe we'll even sell our old boat. Just so we have a couple, couple extra bucks to play with here. Then we'll start running nets and all this other fun stuff. It'll be a great time. So we do have a lot of fish actually coming up on the radar, which is nice. So this will be a, this should be an okay fishing spot. And our last one. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. What is it out of? Out of six, we did not get much fish here. That is okay, though. Oh, we got an okay. Yeah. Got a perfect on that one. <coughs> Another perfect. 
two more or two more lines of fish ready to bring in. Let's get it, boys. Yes, perfect. And let's see what our last line is, and it's coming up right now, and we got a perfect on it. Beautiful. So now we'll just position the boat to get back in. Our boat's smoking like a sieve. She's an old girl. Nice, beautiful boat, the cruddy. Maybe we'll go to, uh, maybe this time we'll go to the Yamath port. According to Wikipedia, carbon dioxide is an essential hey, Google. gas with a density about 50% <laughs> higher than that. Oh, my, my Google. <laughs> I'm going to have to turn that off next time. <laughs> I didn't think it'd pick up my voice. That is, uh, that's funny. So I'm just going to have to turn that off next time. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Alright, so we're just heading towards there. And we're going to start gutting our fish. Alright, let's do it. Got 3,000 kilograms of fish to go. Really bad with this lighting. Oh my gosh. There's a five star gut. That is not a five star gut, four and a half. Five star gut. Beauty. Four and a half stars. Four and a half stars. This lighting is just god awful. That's okay though. Five star gut. That was a four star gut. Not a very good one. Alright, let's see here. There we go. She's. Oh, she's kind of messed up. A little bit of game lag there. And five star gut. Got a bit more gutting to do. Need to see our engine squealing in the background. She's trying to go through the ocean. Got a bit more to gut here. So gutting is a lot easier in this game than it is in uh, in fishing Barrett Sea. All right. So we're on our way back. We're just gonna go here. Oops. Just gonna go here. Then we're gonna go here. Then here. Then here. Just pray to God we don't hit any other ships. Maybe we'll pick up some other tips here too. That'd be preferable. We're getting close to other ships. So we're gonna sell I'm gonna sell this fish here and then we're gonna call it for this episode. I'd like to thank everyone who watches the videos. I really enjoy making them. And if you like what you see, like and subscribe. I'll always be putting out more videos. Let's enjoy this, let's have fun together. And if you have any comments or any suggestions for anything I could be doing better, comments and suggestions are always welcome. If 
there's anything in particular you want to see in Fishing North Atlantic, let me know and we can work towards it. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get a little closer. Uh, there we go. There we go. Oh, we unlocked that. That's fine. Nice. So we'll pull in, we'll sell our fish, and then we will save, save our game, and that'll be it. Coming up to the area where we dock. There we go. Let's dock. Fish aboard, would you like to sell your fish? Yeah. Nice, we got 17,000 fish, or 17,000 uh, dollars for that fish, beauty, beauty. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play, I enjoyed playing and streaming it, or uh, recording it. Uh, this video was recorded on a Tuesday night, so by the time you guys see it, it'll be Thursday sometime in the afternoon, hopefully. Uh, depending on how fast my internet connection is. But uh, we shall see. So thank you guys all. Remember if you like what you see, like and subscribe. And have a great night everyone. Bye for now.